Trade Days Market through our website, TexasTradeDays.com. So I wanted to give y'all a step-by-step -step visual video about how to set up or sign up as a vendor and then set up your store through the website. It's very much like a typical market, one of the traditional markets that we've been doing in person, but this is also going to be online, okay? So what we're here at is the new TexasTradeDays.com website. It's easy to get to. You can do this on your mobile phone. You can do it on the computer. And um, it's very easy to do, very self-explanatory, but there are some details once you register and become approved as an online vendor um, that I want to show you step-by-step -step how to do it. Uh, the vendor guide, I will also kind of give you a quick rundown about that as well, but some of it does not cover a few things that you guys need to know. So when you go to texastradedays.com, you'll see the home page. You'll see the uh, featured products here. They're the new products. It's in random order. So everybody will have the opportunity to have their listings put up here. With the more listings there are, the more will be featured in this new product release section. So we also have the blog, uh, which is a good place for you to see updates that I may have for all of you, updates for customers and things like that as well, and of course our latest feed on Instagram. So when you want to sign up to be a vendor, you'll come over here to the vendor directory and you'll see the vendor information link drop below. So you'll click on that page, it's just like it's always been, and you'll see the vendor information page. So it has the same links in the same places as you're used to. And then we have the vendor application section. So right now, registration is closed for, for traditional market registration, but the online market registration is open uh, coming soon. Okay. So you'll click on this, the online market registration. And then you'll scroll down and then you have the two steps just like you have had in the past where you fill out a form and then you sign up and uh, make your payment so we have step one which is the registration form for your vendor account and then we have step two for you to pay for your online booth so whenever you sign up here you'll put in your first name your last name Create a user login, user, uh, uh, yeah, user login, sorry. Um, and then that has to be unique as well. And then this email is the email address you need to use uh, whenever you sign up for uh, vendor events and things like that. Your business email where you get all your orders, where you get your payment receipts, things like that. That's the email you want to use here. And then you'll confirm your email address, okay? And then also you'll need to type in your vendor name. And it has this italicized sentence here. It says, important, this is the name that customers see when purchasing your products. Please choose carefully. So if I'm going to use um, our boutique for an example, we'll put purple jewel designs in this field here, okay? And then you'll also want to describe your company and what you sell. So just like when you're letting me know what products you'll be bringing to market, this is the same sort of thing. You're letting me know what kind of company do you have and what kind of products you sell um, or you intend to sell on the website. Okay. Now, if you want to make this a public description for your vendor profile, once you're approved and you're able to open up your shop, which is your quote online booth, you'll click this checkbox here to display this description in your public vendor profile. It can be edited later. So if you don't want that to be done right away, if you just want to send me something, let me know um, what you're doing just for approval and all, then you, don't click this checkbox. Just type in what you want here. And again, it can be edited later. So when you're done, just click register. Okay. Then whenever you've submitted your uh, registration form, you'll go down to skip, uh, 
go down to step two and pay for your online booth. So you'll click this October online vendor booth and it will open up to its product description page. So if you need to see more information, what they have here is that the product description, this is the short description area. You'll want to scroll down further for the full product description. Okay. And then I have the links here with where you can check to see which spaces have filled for the month. And then you'll see our vendor policy. You'll also see a refund policy. We have a vendor facts section. And then of course the vendor, the online vendor policy and agreement. You can see it by clicking here. And there it is here. Okay. Now, when it comes to the vendor policy, it's pretty close to the way it's been for our traditional markets. There are some differences, for example, under hazardous items. Uh, because we're dealing with shipping, we want to make sure that the products that we are shipping are in the guidelines of USPS's domestic shipping prohibitions and restrictions. And this link will take you to that page for USPS.com. And then you can see what all they won't allow. Okay, most of us don't have to worry about this, but I just want to make sure that everybody's understanding, you know, how this works. Not everybody has an online store, not everybody ships. So if you wanted to take advantage of doing this through me for a lower cost and having your own online store, then here's some of the things that you need to keep in mind um, that you cannot ship through USPS. FedEx and all of them have some different guidelines too, um, but most of them are pretty in line with what USPS or the post office wants. Okay, so we'll go back and then once you've added to cart, I'm going to show you how to do this. It's just like any other shopping deal. You see it says it's been added to your cart and you can view your cart by either clicking the view cart here on your, the right side of the screen or you can go up and on the top right and click that section and it'll take you to your shopping cart. Uh, the quantities, you don't need to worry about doing more than one. Uh, there are limited uh, products on your uh, own online booth. So you don't need to have more than one online shop or booth. Okay, so just choose one and then that renews uh, on the first of each month, okay? It's not prorated or anything like that. Uh, so you'll make sure that you just choose one and then by the first of each month, once the next month is open uh, to book, then be sure you do that and then you'll renew that way. You don't need to submit a new registration form um, if you've already done it once, okay? Just renew your monthly payment, okay? If you don't, then by the first, your shop will be uh, deleted off the system, and then you'll have to redo the registration form and then totally set up your shop again, okay? All right, so once that's done, you'll get an email. Let me see if I can go up here. So once you've registered, you've made your payment, you'll get an email for your vendor registration. You'll also get an email confirmation for your order. And so the vendor registration looks like this. So that login name you used, you cannot change it. That is what you'll use or the email address to log in. Uh, and this is the login link. Um, I'll show you if you happen to lose that, then what you can do here is go all the way down to the bottom of the website in the footer and then click on vendor dashboard. That would be where you would sign in. So with this, once you get this, this email, you will click on this link here. It says click here to set your password and gain access to your account. You'll want to do that the first thing. It'll take you to another page, follow the on-screen on instructions. And then once you've done that, then you can click this login address and do it there. And this is once you've been approved uh, you'll have access to your store and um, be able to start submitting your products, okay? 
So once that's done, I'm going to take you over to logging in. Let's see if I've logged out already. Let's go all the way down here. All right, so with the way this one's doing here is that it is telling me to go to my email and click the link to log in. So I'm going to go back over to me, my email here. And then I'm going to click this link, log into WordPress.com. Verify that you're logging in as your correct email address, which is the one that you used on your registration form. All right, so this is the back end of your store. This is what it'll look like once you've been approved. Um, as I've said in some of my vendor facts that you will be listed as a vendor admin. So you'll be able to see your orders. I'm going to go through the menu on the left side of the screen. So there's your orders. There's your reports. Okay. You'll see all your sales stuff here. And even your commissions too. Okay. You'll have your media. Channel. And then you'll see your products here. And then Jetpack, you're not going to be able to do anything here. That's for me. And then here's your store settings. And then this is the first thing you want to do is get this taken care of and set up. So you can upload a vendor logo. That's your store logo. Logo, it is huge for us. But uh, anyway, so that's what you can do here. And then below that, you'll have your vendor profile. And then this is where you can put um, about your store, about what you do and what you sell. It says enter a public vendor profile that store customers will see. And then um, you'll have your notifications email and then your PayPal email. This is how you get paid. So if you want your, you, you can only receive your commissions through PayPal, okay? So if you don't have a PayPal account, set up a PayPal account. Use that email address here, okay? And then this is where I've set your commission at 100%. And then, of course, this is your time zone. So if you're local, uh, the UTC-5, I believe, is the uh, central standard time. Um, but anyway, so whenever you're done, just... Click update and you're good to go. All right. If you want to uh, set up your profile, you can. You can do a little about you. You can do uh, a photo for you. This is just your profile. It'll be the same thing uh, if you're logged into this account um, that people will see all across uh, the WordPress. Okay. And then support, if you have a question, you can write your issue and question here, uh, and then it will go directly to me, all right? And again, that's your profile, okay. So let me go up to products. Um, don't worry about this add a new site, that's adding a new blog for you. If you want to deal with that, you can, but I, it, you don't need to, it's not going to do anything for us. So just ignore it if you want, okay? So I'm going to go up to products. I'm going to click on it, and it's going to take me to products here. As you see, there's one already set up. So let me go over here and show you the way that your online booth will look like. So whenever I went to directory, vendor directory, you'll have a link to your online booth. And then this is the way it will look. 
And then this is your, your rating is here below your logo. And then you'll have your about section. This is your description. And then all of your products will be here. And it says here, sold by Purple Jewel Designs. So I can click on this and it will open up. Here's a short description, which I'll show you in a minute. Your categories here, which are also these categories up here. And then you have your tags, which will help whenever they're searching for products up in the search field at the top of the screen. This is your product main product photo. And this, these photos down below it are in your product gallery. This is your product description. Okay. And then people who have bought your product can review it and see where it says here. Only logged in customers who have purchased this product may leave a review. Okay. So that's the way that looks. And you see where the categories are. So I have this listed under Rodeo, which is seasonal and holiday. So if we went over here, seasonal and holiday, and I go over to Rodeo, you'll find it there. Now there's also more categories that it's in as well because I've added them to these categories. So this is women's jewelry. I have it just set up in jewelry. And then I also have it in necklaces. You see where it changes? Home jewelry necklaces. It's also there. So whenever you go to add your product, you want to make sure that you click off all the categories that you want your product to show up under. And the more relevant it is to that category, the better it's going to do on Google as well. So keep that in mind. Okay? So that's the way that looks. So we can go back over to... The online booth okay all right so let's go back in let me get out of that one and I will show you how to add a product so adding new here will allow you to add a new product so at the top is your product description or sorry your product title product name and then you have your full description and then you have your product data and then you just want to click simple product if you don't have any variants. If you have variants, then click variant, okay? But simple product is pretty much all most of us need to do. Then you have inventory. Uh, you can click here to enable stock management at product level. So you can enter in different the quantity that you have of that particular stock. Uh, those of you that are going to do external or affiliate links, do not worry with this. So, for ex example, if you wanted to uh, sell uh, from your own website, you can do that while also listing on our website in your online vendor booth. Uh, you can do that. So, But the thing is, though, I have to change this product type for you. So I'm going to let you know as we go through what you need to do so that I can change that over to you. Everybody else, don't worry about doing that, okay? So um, once you've put your product description here, here's your short description. And you filled all of this out. Under general, you can set your shipping, weight, and everything here. Uh, you can link products if you want to upsell or cross-sell. Attributes, if you know more about attributes, go for it. It's custom product attributes. You click on add and you can let them know what it is here. I don't usually deal with attributes, but if you all do, then feel free to use this feature here. And then there's Facebook. Um, I do have the shops linked with the Facebook shop on Texas Trade Day's Facebook page. So if you want to do this, you can just leave this as default, or if you want to uh, put in something different, you can. I recommend leave it blank. It says if blank, product description will be used. If product description is blank, short name will be used. 
So uh, be sure you fill out your product descriptions uh, fully in the general tab um, here. Um, this is the, your big product description, the lengthy one, and this is the short. So make sure you fill those out completely and then you don't have to worry about any of this. Um, so then you can also go to add-ons. So if you want to create um, an add-on uh, for the product, you can do that here. And then on the right side of the um, screen, you see save as draft. So whenever you're here, done here, but you don't want to submit it to me for review yet because you're still working on it, just click save draft, okay? And then you, once you've done that too, you can also click preview to see how it looks in a um, live on a web page, okay? And then whenever you're fully finished, cl uh, click submit for a review. Product categories, again, this is what I was talking about. So you can click multiple. So if I'm like, okay, so I've got, it's clothing, but it's also children's clothing. I can click that, um, that sort of thing. Sometimes there may be more than one, uh, like jewelry, and we have bracelets, but it could also be costume jewelry, and it's also men's jewelry, and um, let's say, I don't know, it can also be used as unisex jewelry. I mean, anybody can wear it, right? So we could do that. So you can click multiple categories here, and then that will show up in the multiple categories at the top of the website here, okay? Make sure they're as relevant as you can possibly get them because then you will do better on Google. You will reach out to Google with your products going through us, okay? Product tags, make sure they're relevant to your um, product as well. I'll show you on the one that I've already done. And, um, and then we have likes and show likes and sharing buttons to do that so you can kind of get some feedback from shoppers that do land on your product page and if they want to share it with their friends and family even on social media you can allow them to do that through the sharing buttons and of course it's not going to show facebook yet because this product is not created and so it's not syncing to facebook yet and then the product image this is the primary product image the big one which is the one you see here and then whenever you click on it it's this product, it's this main product one here, okay? And then product gallery, again, that's the smaller products that are below it, you know, product photos that are below it, okay? And that is it. Let me go back over to the one that I finished. I can show you more with it. All right, so this is the product name which is the title which you see here that's the title the permalink is already going to be um, done in reference to the title but if you wanted to edit it you can I don't suggest it unless you made some changes to the title and the permalink did not update all right so here's the long description all right, see where that one shows down here? See the same thing. And then you have your product type. And we have the price, we have the commission, we have the inventory. I don't have this enabled because I'm gonna show you something in a minute for those that have external links. Um, and then there's the shipping, there's linked products, attributes, Facebook, of course, and the add-ons. There's the product short description. And then back at the top, you'll see here, it's already been published. I've approved this one. And then we can preview changes, which will open up with a new screen. And there's a preview. If you want to get rid of this listing you can also move it to trash if you want to edit it for any reason you can go ahead and put it to draft or if there's some changes you want to make sure that you did it right you can send it for pending review and then I can review it again okay 
And then here's the product categories. So I just scrolled down to select which ones I wanted to, to show under. That's relevant to the product that I'm listing. And then these are the product tags. And you see aquamarine, chain necklace. If you're familiar with Etsy, that's what these are. They're product tags, the same thing. And then, of course, here's where whenever it starts syncing with Facebook, you'll start seeing this. Then whatever you want to do is you can go ahead and, and just leave this alone if you want. Deleting products on Facebook, it'll resync again. Um, but if you got rid of this, if you're getting rid of rid of your your listing then what I would do here is go ahead and click delete products on Facebook make your selection and then move to trash and then there's the main product image and then the gallery okay so for those of you that have um, that you can't sell on an external website like ours so for instance like your MLM and you have to sell through your website if you're going to do it online that's okay, you can do that. You can set everything up the same, okay? I copied and pasted from our listing here, our Etsy listing. Um, anyway, I moved on to another one. But I've copied and pasted from our Etsy listing. All right, same thing. And then I ignored inventory. I ignored shipping. But I also put this here, this is the first part of our Etsy listing which is the very first part of the long description and whenever I was done with all of this um, I put the link the external link so what you can do here is go to the link to the product page on your own website and then you can click copy Go back over and at the end here to let me know this is what you're doing. Do external or EXT link and then copy and paste that link right there. And then whenever I move it over to an external uh, listing, which I'll show you in a minute, that I will get rid of this link here, okay? Because I need this to make it external so that whenever you click on it, like this one here, that where it says buy now or buy product, it's going to take you over to your external website's listing. Okay, so like this one takes us over to Etsy. All right, so mom uh, manages the shop um, and most of our my items and her items are with her, not with me. And so to keep everything there and she can just sell you know and ship through etsy and all then that's what she did okay but she wants to also have a online vendor booth on our website too so that's how we did this but i i'm the only one that has the controls to do that so even though i'm signed in under her and under the boutique account for the vendor booth that she doesn't have the permissions even as a vendor admin to do this so and if i gave you shop manager you're going to have access to more stuff for the shop that you don't need to have access to and it'll do nothing but confuse you. Okay, so just do this and then I'll be happy to convert that over to an external slash affiliate product type and then use this link here to move it over to where when people click on buy now, it takes you over to your website to make the uh, purchase and keeps you in line with what your company policy may be or a way you're already set up like mom set up through Etsy so she just wants to keep it through there right now okay but she lists on texastradedays.com make sense all right so I'm going to get rid of this and I'm going to show you how all this works so I'm going to back out of this, let me log out of her, and then I'll log into me. So I'm going to leave. Let's go over to log out. And then, all right. So this is the way it looks on my end. So I'm going to go over to products. 
Now I'll get a notice that there's a product pending my review, okay? So I can go, let me go over here, go to edit. All right. And then I can take that link that I put down there, right? And take this link, okay? That y'all put down there, let me know it's an external link. And then I can change it from simple product type to external or affiliate product, okay? Don't worry about group products, just this one here. So those of you that want to just, you know, send them over to Etsy or send them over to your MLM site, you know, or your e-commerce site, however y'all want to do that. If you don't want to sell directly through our website, that's okay, all right? So just send them over there. That's fine. However y'all want to do this and whatever works best for you, all right? The website is here. This is set up the way it is to help those of you that don't sell through Etsy or other marketplaces that don't have an e-commerce store, that if you want to have one with us and sell and ship and collect payments and deal with um, customers straight through us, you can. Um, or those that just want to reach, you have your own, and just want to reach our shoppers that would normally come to our markets and then some, uh, then you can do that through us too, okay? So I would change this over to the external or affiliate product type and this is this product URL is where that link will go. So I would copy and paste the link into here. I would get rid of it at the description, the product description. And then I leave everything else alone. Okay. And then I come up here and it will say approve or some, it'll say something else, but it says update right now because this is already approved. So I'll just hit update and then ta-da. That's the way it shows on the website. Hit buy product and it takes you over to the actual product listing. Okay. Otherwise, it will take you to the cart like I first showed you. And then check out on the cart and go from there. You'll get all your order notifications and things like that. All right. And right, let me get out of here. Let me show you how easy it is that you can do this real quick log out of here log back in with the boutique oh that's not what i want to do oh so i'll come over here to vendor dashboard go back over to my email Alrighty. So I'm back over here. So here's the products. And let's go ahead and go through adding a product. So the one that I want to do here is my black feather necklace that I have on Etsy. So what I do is if I'm going to transfer over, I will make my own um, folder. And move these over. Okay, so that's my main product image. So I'm going to save image as when I right click on it over here. Then I'm just going to go through. So I've done that, and this is what I'm going to do here. Etsy has totally different uh, requirements with their titles, product titles, than Google does. You want to make sure that you don't do the Etsy on anything that really goes out to Google, okay? So uh, with this, you just take the most relevant Okay. 
most relevant um, keywords for the product. You want one that described it well. All right. And then I'm going to go over here to the description and copy this. Paste that. Then I have to adjust this. Oop, that's not what I want. Make sure that the formatting is right. Okay. And then I like to pull in these details. So I'm going to add them as well. Okay. And so that one's done. I'm going to go back up here, copy this, and then I'm going to come down to the short description and paste it there. All right. So again, it's a simple product. So, but I want this to go over to Etsy. I want it to be an external link. So let me know that that's what you want. Okay, and copy, and then paste. Okay, then regular price. We're going to put in the the price that you have. But if you don't want, if you don't do an external link, then don't do this. Okay, that's what I'm saying. So uh, you don't need to do that. But even if you just want to copy over, or if you don't want to copy over and you just type it out, you pull from your photos from your computer. It's the same process. Okay. So, all right, so regular price, we're going to make it the same. All right, put in your price there. If you have a sale, you can put your sale price here, and you can also schedule how long that sale is going to be on that product. Okay, so you can also run sales too, especially if you want to push those items. And commission, of course, is 100%. That's already uh, set up whenever I approve your um, registration inventory you would you would let us know you know how much inventory you have for that but if it's an external link don't worry about it shipping if you're using the shipping from um, the website here texastradays.com from your booth set up all of this if not don't worry about it if you're linking over again upsells cross sales attributes facebook not worrying about it add-ons not worrying about it okay so now i'm going to go over here i'm going to save it as draft i don't want to lose what i just did all right so i'm going to save it as draft and now what i can do to make sure everything looks okay then i can click on preview and that's the way it looks sound good all right and then, okay, I'm going to go down to product category. So we're going to scroll down to jewelry. And we're going to do natural necklaces, women's, what else is there? We can do casual, okay. All right. And then product tags. We're going to go to necklace. See, and it will save what you've done before. So we're going to do pendant necklace and add. So you can either click add or hit the enter key. We're going to do leather.
So, all right. And then, of course, you can click here, choose from the most used tags so that you can easily see them. Okay. And then Facebook, of course, there's not going to be anything there yet. Upload my photos. That's the main product photo I want. I'm going to set the product image. I'm going to go down to gallery and choose the different ones. So I need to upload more. So I'm going to upload all these. the gallery and then you can rearrange these too if you want okay and you can add more than I have added all right so I think I'm done I'm gonna hit save draft that's our old preview page I'm gonna hit preview again and that's the way it looks okay So you have your preview, your product photo, the main one, then you have your product gallery, your product title, the price, the short description. You've got your categories here where you'll show up. You have your tags there, your keywords, you have your long description, all right? And you have the external link, all right? That's okay if you're doing the external link thing. That is okay. Leave that there, okay? because I still need it. So then when you're done, you're satisfied with it, click Submit for Review. Ta-da. All right, so that's it. It says Product Submitted, and then it says Preview Product, which we already did. Let's see. And then I get an email that you have listed a new product. So there we go, okay? And so what I'll do is I'll sign in. So let me log out of here. Let me show you what I do. So I've been notified over here that there's a new product. So I'm going to go to products. All right, and then I see your new product here, okay? So I'll go ahead and open it up. And then if I need to make some adjustments, get with you or whatever, I can still save it as pending, and I can also preview it too, okay? But if I approve it, all looks good. I can hit publish, and it goes live. It'll be shared to Facebook, Texas Trade Days, and then Twitter as well. All right. So we come down here and see where it says simple product. Now I can do the external affiliate product. So I will take this web address, cut it, and put it in the product URL. All right. Button text stays alone. All right, and then your vendor, your shop, your vendor name, when you registered, this is where it shows up here, okay? So you are automatically tagged because you're the one that created that product, okay? So once everything is good, I've deleted that external link, okay? Um, and then I'm going to save as pending. Preview it. Make sure it works. And it does. All right. I'll go back over here and I'll hit publish.
product published, view product. So let me get out of here, switch back over. I'm going to go to the website. Go to vendor dashboard. You should be able, does it let you know here? I would think it'd let you know. I guess it doesn't. Anyway. Alright, so let's go back down to the vendor dashboard. You'll be able to see it. And go products then you'll be able to see that it's now synced and showing and it's been approved okay because now you've got update there you see that the status is published and its visibility is public so it's been approved okay so it's pretty easy not a whole lot to do um, again you want to see your orders whatever orders out there if you're doing orders through um, TexasTradeDays.com, you'll see your reports, media, should be what you've uploaded. Should be. Maybe not. There's your store settings, if you need to adjust anything there. Again, this is the about you section for your vendor profile. All right, so that's pretty much it. Super easy. If you have any questions, again, uh, feel free to reach out to me once you're approved and all or whatever. Uh, you can click on support and email me directly. Uh, if you need help signing up, let me know. Uh, send me an email, uh, TexasTradeDays at gmail.com. Whatever email you've got, they'll go to the same place for now. So, um, anyway, just reach out to me and I'll be glad to help you. And uh, let me log out of here and show you what else there is. You will see on the website, texastradedays.com, go to vendor information. And you'll see the status and availability page is up, so check there. It'll be listed. You'll have y'all listed as it normally does. Um, let you know if you've been approved. And then, of course, Facebook events. All this WhatsApp still going on. I got the vendor learning series. I'll be putting this video there as well. So, there's that. Um, and then I also have the vendor facts section too. Oh. I thought I moved it over. I didn't yet. Okay. But here it is here. I know I did here. So the vendor facts section. And then you can just click on these questions and you'll get my answers for that. And so this is for traditional markets. The same facts section that I moved over from the other website. And then, of course, you scroll down and then there's the online market facts. All right. I have these here. And then uh, need a WordPress account. Uh, it's best that you have one, but I say kind of if you don't have one for your business already, uh, you've seen um, that you want to create an account just for that because it's that email address that you want, you're you going to want to use. That's where you'll get all your order emails and stuff like that, okay? Just keep everything super simple unless you want to go through uh, using your own WordPress account. That's okay, um, but... Sometimes it can get, if you're familiar with WordPress, sometimes it can get a little confused. So, um, anyway, I recommend setting up your a separate one for your business if you don't already, okay? Um, so, anyway, but you will have an account to access our side for your vendor booth. That's just the way it'll automatically get created uh, that way. So, uh, for your vendor, online vendor booth. 
And then I have some of these here. Now, how do I set up my online vendor booth? Uh, I'll have a link to this video as well. But there's also this vendor guide. Okay. And then it goes through and it helps you with registering for account. Gives you some tips. And then it'll be vendor admin or vendor manager. I'm going to have y'all as vendor admin so that you have access to all your settings. Okay. And then it talks about the store settings and your vendor logo, your profile, your PayPal email, setting your time zone. Pretty much everything that I went over too. There are some things that are not that I went over that are not in here. So if you need to rewind the video and go back to those sections. And then there's adding products and managing products. And they have all these different links as well too. Okay. I do not have a bookable product available. I have not signed up for booking. So if you want to book um, home visits or demos or things like that, you'll have to um, do that on your own still. Okay. And then there talks about WooCommerce reports. Talk all about that. And then setting up your PayPal to get uh, your commissions. Um, this is how I pay. Your commissions, they go directly to you. I don't touch them. And then uh, vendor roles, vendor admin, see here. This is what you will be. You'll have access to all of that. Then shipping and fulfillment. It has another link for you to click on for more information there. And then there's per product. Defining shipping costs for products is another link. There's tax issues, email notifications, and then widgets you may have available to you. Um, I certainly do. I don't believe you will. You may. You will. I don't know. It may be in the future. But anyway, so that's pretty much it. This is a great step-by-step -step to get you started. There are a few little things, like I said, especially for those that are with the external link. Um, just do it that way. Put the external link at the bottom of your um, long product description and then I'll take care of the rest on my end okay if I don't see a link in the bottom of the product the long product description then I know that you're not going to want to change the product type to an external slash affiliate link okay so I won't do it if that is not there but if it's there then I will all right uh, that should be it I hope this has helped you uh, see um, how all this works out. You can see that extra, that other listing show up. And then vendor directory. Again, you'll be automatically listed here. If you do not see your name listed here, your shop name listed here, then it's because you didn't list any products. So you've got to have at least one product already listed and approved before you'll show up on the vendor directory. It happens automatically. There's nothing I can do to change that except get you to create and publish a uh, approved listing. Okay, so that should be it. Everything should be good to go. I hope you like this. Uh, let me know what you think and uh, if this video has helped you too. So be sure to go over all of this. It's all under sell um, and you'll find um, all the helpful info information. And uh, let me know what you think, and I will talk to y'all later, and good luck, and I'm excited to bring this to y'all. Bye.